Okay, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use the command line interface or terminal uh, on Mac or Linux uh, to use services like Amazon S3. You know, instead of going to the console and creating buckets and stuff like that, you we're going to use the command line interface and make things a bit simpler, faster, easier. Uh, this is one of the very um, the skills that you need to be very good with a, with AWS because all the time you it's not uh, fast or efficient enough to use the console so I hope uh, you uh, get some thing out of this video and let's start right away the first thing we're going to do is to go into our uh, console and go to IAM access management and we're gonna to go to users and we're going to add a user now I already have one for for myself but I'm gonna walk through making a completely new one I'm gonna name it AWS CLI 1 programmatic access next uh, so we're going to attach existing policies directly and choose the admin access just for simplicity of this uh, tutorial now create user alright so it, the user is created and here are my keys access key and secret access key uh, ID and key I'm gonna download this and close this okay now the, th the, th the thing we need to do is now is to configure our terminal to have the uh, AWS command line interface and for that we have to install uh, the AWS CLI through this command it's pip install AWS CLI and we will upgrade user all right now my requirement is already up to date that's why it did nothing but that will install the AWS CLI to your uh, to your terminal and what we will do is uh, AWS first let me clear the screen And we're going to type AWS test as configure. Oops. Okay. It's AWS configure. I'm sorry. I'm new to this too. <laughs> um, so the access key is going to be the one we downloaded earlier I have it on my other screen so I'm gonna uh, yeah so for quite a, for, for a while I'm gonna move to my other screen and copy my secret okay that's done now it's very important for you to not share your keys and that has to be practiced um, you know as much as you can so even though I could have given sh shown you my key and deleted it I it's safer to not share your keys with anyone um, for the default reason name I'm gonna select US East uh, actually I already have um, my my stuff in the US East one region that's where all my buckets are uh, but for this tutorial I'm gonna switch to Ohio which is US East and I'm gonna have to it's US East 2 so I'm gonna say US East 2 default output format JSON and we're set now if we type in AWS 
uh, S3 LS. Huh. So for some reason, this is sh uh, showing me my uh, my buckets in you know my other account, and I don't know if this uh, if this is supposed to happen. Well, I guess the the S three is universal, but I st I don't know. So let's do configure. Yep. The, D, the account is same. Okay, so I think what's happening is uh, it's showing me everything. No problem. We'll work with this. Uh, so what I did earlier was AWS S3 LS. Now this is all the buckets that I have in my uh, my S3 buckets, and all these things are US East One. I I I configured my um, region as US East 2 but I think it's gonna show every bucket that's that's something that um, you might want to note down uh, I, I didn't know this until now I, I thought it was gonna be uh, empty when I do this but anyways uh, I'm, I'm learning too um, okay so we're gonna make a bucket so we're gonna say AWS S3 MB which stands for make bucket and I'm gonna say uh, tutorial so Rav that's my name and one two three hope this is available oh, oh actually uh, it's supposed to be s3 this okay so when I say AWS s3 LS just as Linux it's gonna list all the buckets and you, as you can see I have a new bucket so instead of going through the console it was so much easier sometimes you don't even have to log in if you have MFA uh, you know it takes time to get to the console and with with the, the CLI it's so much simpler you just are in the console already now let's go to our S3. And right, so uh, I can see all my buckets, uh, not not just um, not just the one I created, which is in US East Ohio. I have created all these buckets before in US East One, and I can see those too. So this is empty right now, right now. Well, whenever I want to um, change something, for example, if I'm, um, I have a static website on my uh, US East One, and if I, when I'm working on up, updating my website, I have to, you know, I used to upload the um, the files um, every time through this upload button, and it was it used to take quite a while, you know. But what we can do is um, let's start with making a uh, making a file in this let's go to um, uh, let's go to documents and let's make a directory called test1 and let's write something hello Test one dot txt. Okay, so if I see, um, so move test one dot txt to all right. So we want to be in this directory. I have one file, test one, and I'm going to say um, echo. hello world and I'm gonna write this to a file called index.html we have two files now index and test one and we are going to copy both of those files to 
AWS um, S3. Now for to, to do that, we have to do a S3 um, copy everything in here to S3 and the name of my bucket was tutorial tutorial so um Okay, let's start with let's start with something simple. Let's say copy test one to S three, and the bucket name is going to be the same thing as here. And there we go. So if we uh, go to AWS S three LS in my bucket, I'm going to see one file that is test one and if we actually refresh this in the bucket I have this so see this is the whole point now I can show you everything that you can uh, do with the CLI and S3 now but we we can definitely go over some things and that will get you started to you know enter the whole different um, way of doing things so we're gonna do a few more things before I end this video um, let's try to uh, uh, what else shall we do? Yep, so let's try to upload the index file this time. AWS S3 copy index.html to S3 my bucket name and this time instead of doing the standard upload we're gonna say we want to we want to store this to the storage class um, reduced redundancy. Okay. Now there are three types of um, S three storage. One is standard. One is infrequent access, reduced redundancy, and uh, Glacier. Four types. So I'm gonna say. Let's upload this to reduce redundancy. You know, I already have this file. I don't want to pay a lot more to store it. So I'm okay with having this backed up in fewer location. And there we go. It's uploaded to reduce redundancy. Um, and let's make a new file. So new file. And let's save this to a file called um, new new file dot uh, rtf right now we're going to save this we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to save in self reduce redundancy to uh, infrequent access s3 new oops new file dot rtf to standard underscore IA okay so th this this will save your file to infrequent access this is reduced redundancy and if you don't type anything it's just standard so that's something helpful that you can uh, that you can use and so let's try doing something else so um, Let's make a new file. One more file, okay? One last file. Uh, last file. We're about to be done. I'm gonna save this to last file dot txt. Okay. So ls. We have four files on this directory, and if I do aws ls. Uh, This, oops. Oh, missed the S3. We have three files here. Okay, so three files here, four files here. 
Now what we can do is say AWS S3 sync dot stands for the current directory and S3 right now if we check the S3 bucket we're gonna have four files so that's an easy way to sync everything uh, very easily now um, let's remove the last file the file we just act actually let's remove the index file remove uh, index.html we have three files now okay now what we let's let's see what happens if we do the sync now so we're gonna say sync right okay and we still have four files so what happened so how this works is when you sync if you um, just sync then the the file that was there uh, on the destination bucket will you know still stay there but to get around that there is this uh, thing you can say delete um, oh of course so okay so what I did was synced and added this delete here now if I check my directory list the stuff that only have three files so as you can see that's one more thing that might become useful to you and uh, yeah I mean that's the, the that's the way to get started with the AWS S3 and there's of course a lot more things to do but just to give you an idea this is a very uh, easy way to access your S3 sometimes and you know just uh, I'm gonna paste uh, the the page that I looked the commands for uh, on the description below and go there and uh, you know try to try this out yourself it's very fun it's easy and it's gonna open up so much possibilities using the CLI is so much easier you can not only work with the S3 but Lambda EC2 um, there's so much possibilities so just you know try it out and uh, let me know if you have any questions on the comments below and don't forget to check out my other videos I'm gonna upload a whole lot more videos in the in the coming days uh, and I'll see you very soon in the next video thank you